Good morning, Strasburg United Methodist Church and uh, other friends who are tuning in to watch these daily devotions. Just want to uh, thank you for being here this morning. It is uh, Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. So happy April Fool's Day, and, and uh, you'll see a lot of crazy things on the internet, I'm sure, today. I want to share with you uh, one of my very favorite songs uh, that is found in our United Methodist hymnal. It is uh, called You Are the Seed, and it is written in English, and, but it's actually a, uh, a song written originally in Spanish. And uh, I'm going to read some of the poetry of this hymn before we sing it. You are the seed that will grow a new sprout. You are a star that will shine in the night. You are the yeast and a small grain of salt, a beacon to glow in the dark. Go, my friends, go to the world, proclaiming love to all, messengers of my forgiving peace, eternal love. Be my friends, a loyal witness, from the dead I arose. Lo, I'll be with you forever, till the end of the world. Then the second verse goes this way. You are the flame that will lighten the dark, sending sparkles of hope, faith, and love. You are the shepherds to lead the whole world through valleys and pastures of peace. You are the friends that I chose for myself, the word that I want to proclaim. You are the new kingdom built on a rock where justice and truth always reign. Then the final verse. You are the life that will nurture the plant. You are the waves in a turbulent sea. Yesterday's yeast is beginning to rise, a new loaf of bread it will yield. There is no place for a city to hide, nor a mountain can cover its might. May your good deeds show a world in despair, a path that will lead all to God. I think many of us uh, in this day and age um, are being forced to think about what we are going to do in this life. Now, not everybody. There are some of you who are working even harder than ever before at the jobs uh, that you are employed at. Um, we had a church council meeting, and one of our um, members of church council works at a nursing home, and it's been pretty crazy uh, for her uh, with all the work and then also uh, constantly calming the residents who don't truly understand why we are in a lockdown right now. So I know that there are many of you out there, especially our first responders, uh, our police officers, uh, our nurses, our doctors, medical personnel, uh, even those of you in shipping industry, truckers, or um, maybe some of the people who um, are making sure that those uh, pieces of mail are delivered and packages are delivered all of us who are ordering from home. So uh, to you, I say keep on doing what you're doing. Um, but when you get a moment, pause and reflect about how God is using you in the midst of this time. Now, for everyone else, and, and I know that uh, we're entering into a time when uh, I guess there will be 32% of people will be unemployed. Um, if that's not already happened, it's, it's coming soon. And there will be many people who are pondering what's going to happen next? You know, they've lost their jobs in the hospitality industry. Uh, they've lost a job because of just uh, their organization needing to downsize. And they may be saying, what do I do? Well, there was a, a, a pastor named Frederick Buechner. He wrote many different books, um, was famous in the 20th century. And he, uh, he answers this question in a book he, he wrote called Wishful Thinking, a Theological ABC. And his name is uh, Frederick Beekner. He was a, a Presbyterian minister. In this life, the place God calls you is the place where your deep gladness and the world's deep hunger meet. And so this comes from his book, Wishful Thinking, a Theological ABC. And I'll repeat that one more time, and I'll say it right this time. The place God calls you to is the place where your deep gladness and the world's deep hunger meet. So for those of you who may be contemplating what to do next in life, uh, maybe uh, this being stuck at home has, has made you uh, kind of reevaluate your circumstances, think about what makes you deeply glad 
where is God blessing you in this life? Then take a look around you. Where is the hunger in the world that you see? And does your deep gladness and the world's great hunger meet? And if it does, that is what you're called to do. So those are my thoughts for today. Um, and what I would like to do is now share this song. Um, it's called You Are the Seed. It's uh, in our hymnal, United Methodist Hymnal, number 583. Uh, I'm sure you can find it online. There's some great websites that have these lyrics and even the verses uh, that you can sing along. You are the seed that will grow a new sprout. You're a star that will shine in the night. You are the yeast and a small grain of salt all begin to glow in the dark. You are the dawn that will bring new day. You're the wheat that will bear golden grain. You are a sting and a soft gentle touch. My witness is wherever you go. Go my friends, go to the world. Proclaim Messengers of my forgiving peace, eternal love. Be my friends, a loyal witness from the dead I arose. Lo, I'll be with you forever. the plant, you're the waves in a turbulent sea. Yesterday's yeast is beginning to rise, a new loaf of bread it will yield. There is no place for a city to hide, nor a mountain can cover its mind. May your good deeds and show a world in despair, a path that will lead all to God. Go, my friends, go to the world, proclaiming love to Messengers of my forgiving peace, eternal love. Be my friends, a loyal witness from the dead I arose. Lo, I'll be with you forever. Let's pray. Gracious and, and loving God, we thank you for this day. And Lord, for all those who are searching right now, searching for meaning, searching for purpose, searching for an idea of just how to respond to what's happening around the world with us, Lord, we ask that you give them a sense of call and a sense of peace and a sense of clarity. Lord, when they ask, where is my deep gladness? Help them be able to respond. And when they ask, Lord, where is the world's greatest need? Let them have clear eyes to see. And Lord, give them an open heart and an open soul that they may respond to all that you call us to do. Amen. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow.